We fell out of contract on a deal. We got that inspection report back and it sucked. What are we gonna do now? This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly. Taking your needs, I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%, that's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. I am James Wise. This is Holton Wise TV. This is where I work with you one-on-one. -on -one. Today, it's one-on-one -on -one and one, right? It's me, Jay Wise, and it is Valerie and Nicholas, right? Mother-son tag team from Orange County, California. You folks are investing. You guys are Learning the market out here in Cleveland, right? The Cleveland market, much different than the Orange County, California market. And we just fell out of contract on a deal. And I don't even know, right? Like, fell out of contract. That's the term, right? I don't, know. I don't even know why we say that, right? I guess we didn't really fall. Like, we specifically were like, hey, we're going to leave, right? We made the decision to, to exit that contract. Why? Because the due diligence told us that would be in our best interest, right? That's what this is all about, folks. The video that you see... This is step one, right? You'd be crazy if you don't do step two, which is further due diligence, right? It's about buying the right property. And when you don't get the right property for the right investor, the right goals, the right mindset, you move on to the next one. It's a numbers game, right? So with us, uh, we had saw that that property wasn't going to fit you two's needs, right? That's why these videos make sense. You guys do the larger packages. I work with you, and we start with one criteria. And by the time we get... To the end of our videos, build up your portfolio, right? We've like changed and gone back and forth, seen what really works, right? That's what this is all about, right? If you knew all the nuances of the Cleveland market, right? They'd be like, you know, really, there really wouldn't be much reason to have me around now, would there, right? And I happen to enjoy paying my bills and feeding my kids, so I'm glad that you guys need my services, right? So with the three of us, uh, we determined that like the 100-year-old inventory here in the Cleveland market, uh, the, the low cost per unit stuff might be a little more risk than you two uh, want to add to your portfolio at this time. And that's great. I am happy that we have gone through that process and figured that out before you dropped $100,000, $200,000, $300,000, right? A little bit of due diligence goes a long way. So with that, I just shot you another video of a quad very new quad. I think this is uh, a complete 180 from that duplex uh, that we no longer want to purchase, and I think that quad would be perfect for you. Well, guess what? This video is also a quad, which is exactly like that quad because it's the same same friggin' thing. Uh, the owner that owns that quad happens to own an identical building, essentially, right next door. So not only did I look at the numbers on the other quad, I looked at them on this one a couple days ago. So let's take a quick commercial break. Then you two get into all of that info, all the numbers, and let me know if this is the type of investment you want to move forward with. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. We're going to get into the meat and potatoes of this investment, right? And I freaking talk about... Why I think this is the best type of investment. Is this property for 19th Center Road, Bedford? Is this property specifically the greatest investment in the world? Not necessarily. I think this property itself is a good investment. But I'm talking wider terms here, dude. The four-unit apartment building is, in fact, the best type of investment for long-term buy-and-hold investors, right? Newer investors getting started. My opinion, it's literally... The best investment you can make, guys, if you have the opportunity to take one down. Whether that's here in the Cleveland market through my company or in a different market, you would be best suited to take 
down a four unit whenever possible, okay? I think a four unit is better than a three unit, right? Four rent checks better than three. But guess what, man? Here is the kicker. I also think a four unit is better than a five unit. What? 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 Ah! That doesn't make sense, James. You just fucking said a four is better than a three because four rent checks are better than three rent checks. That's true. So why isn't five rent checks better than four rent checks? Because of the fucking financing, guys. The financing is the fucking juice that keeps this fucking... I don't even know where I'm going with this metaphor, but that's the juice that keeps the freaking thing moving, dude. Why? Financing. Financing is why we all need to get into real estate investing, okay? There's a lot of ways to make money in this world. You could do a lot of things, right? You could sell stuff. You could cut hair. You could do tattoos. You could open up a restaurant. You could do a whole bunch of stuff providing people value and making money. But you know what you can't do? You can't do that stuff while somebody else pays for 75% of that. You can't do that other stuff while somebody gives you 30 years to pay them back. You can't do that stuff passively while working your day job while tenants pay off that 30-year loan. You can't do it with anything other than real estate, right? That's why real estate's the best, okay? And when you invest in real estate, you get to use residential financing, the premier type of financing. 30-year loans, fixed interest loans. You put down 25%, the bank puts down 75%. The interest is tax deductible. Best stuff ever. But here's the thing. That is only for residential financing. Residential financing is only going to be able to be used for a couple different types of properties. Single-family homes, duplexes, triplexes, quads, quads. Like this quad, priced at $199,995. Like this quad, okay? Once you get up to five units, you no longer get that beautiful 30-year financing. Now you got to get commercial financing, okay? That ain't the name of the game. Commercial financing, for those of you out there who, uh, you know, haven't been involved with it, it ain't the same, dog. Myself, I got millions of dollars of loans out there uh, using financing of all sorts, commercial, residential, seller financed, right? I've been through it all. I've sold over $200 million worth of stuff like this, so I know what I'm talking about, okay? Commercial financing is never going to be that beautiful 30-year term, right? No, no, no. You're looking at like 30-year amortization with a five-year call. And for those of you that don't know how amortization works, it's loaded with interest on the front end, okay? So like if you got a 30-year am, right? The first payment that you make is like 99% interest. You're paying off like a dollar in principal. And then the last payment, 360 months later, 30 years later, that's like 99% principal, 1% interest. Okay, so it's all front loaded, right? So you get these 30 year AM, five year call terms. You got to refinance in five years and all that money that you think you paid down on your principal, really you're just paying interest and then you're just refinancing and you're starting back at the beginning. Not to mention you don't just automatically get the sweet 25% down, right? It's based upon uh, the debt service coverage ratio of the building. Most lenders are looking for a dollar twenty per dollar lent out. But here's the thing. Once you're doing these smaller deals, right, like a five-unit deal, that's the worst type of investment there is, right? Because you, you're one unit too big to get that awesome residential financing, but now you're literally the smallest, crappiest commercial property for the commercial lenders, so they don't really like it, right? Usually five-unit sellers are not super sophisticated. They're not keeping really great records. It's a lot of cash, right to pocket, don't tell the IRS kind of stuff, right? So that means the DSR, the, uh, DS, debt service coverage ratio, DSCR, ah! The DSCR is going to be all jacked up, and you're probably going to pay like 50% down, okay? So the moral of the story, especially if you're a newer investor, dude, it sucks once you get up to that commercial financing, right? You want to stick with that residential financing, but you can't do it forever. You only get 10 of those, folks, 10 of those mortgages, and you better take care of that first mortgage on your own home. So now you only get nine for residential properties. So... If you only get nine mortgages, do you want nine rental income checks? I don't think so. I mean, it would be okay, but you know what's better than 936, right? That, folks, is why quads are the best. And then this quad specifically 
is even cooler because this is a side-by-side -side quad, right? Boom, all four units all on one floor. And for those of you who do not already invest in real estate, let me tell you something. That is not a small deal. By the way, I'm just going through the pictures. You see all the jazz here, right? Being on one floor might not seem like a big deal to you, but I assure you it is. You might be like, no, what? The tenants don't like walking up steps? Well, that's true. They usually don't. Ground floor apartments do typically rent faster and for more money than second floor apartments, right? Think about carrying all your groceries in. But that's not a big deal, right? It's like splitting hairs. It's a minute difference. The reason all four being on the ground floor are amazing is because ain't no motherfucker living above you, ain't no motherfucker living below you, right? So what that does is that reduces a ton of the tenant issues we run into, right? Anytime you got an up-down property, ah, the guy above me he must be dancing on the floor. And then you got the guy above him, like, hitting the thing, like, oh, the guy below me. People don't like it, right? They argue. They argue, they get mad at each other, causes people to move prematurely. We don't want people moving prematurely. We want to keep butts in our doors, right? So, for those reasons, the quad is the best investment for long-term investing. And if you can get a freaking side-by-side -side quad where all four units are on one floor, holy moly, schmoly, boly, oly, oly, ol. It's amazing, right? So, with all that said... This one has been on the market for six days, and they're listed at $199.95. You got to pay more. I think you should offer two hundred five dollars because there's going to be a lot of people bidding on this. There ain't no scenario where there's not multiple bidders here, right? Consider yourself lucky if you get to win this bid. You might even want to bid higher than two hundred five. dollars You should bid as much as you feel comfortable bidding. I think two hundred five would be a solid number. What are you going to get long term? You're going to get four tenants paying about six fifty, dollars right? That's... 2600 a month, 31200 a year. That, after fixed and variable expense estimates, almost 12 Gs a year. You only put down 51000 As I said, bank kicks in 75%. The bank's going to kick in 153 k and them tenants, they're going to pay you. They're going to pay you back. You're going to make an 8.1% cash-on-cash return, and they're going to pay off your $153,000 note, right? That is amazing. One thing to note, the, the rents I gave you, though, those are market rents. Uh, this building is currently fully occupied. This is a clerical error here. This is a typo. We got a one bed, one bath. We don't have a one bed, 11 bath. That is also a one bath, right? So we got four one ones, and the rents they're getting are 595, 580, 699, 585. As you see, the market rents are 650 a unit, and that cuts both ways. Okay, people might think, oh man, maybe he's fluffing these market rents, dude. Why are the market rents higher, right? If they could really get six fifty, why are they renting shit for five ninety five, five eighty? Hey man, I want you to pay attention. It cuts both ways. I cut it to you straight. This unit right here is renting for six ninety nine. If I was just fluffing you guys, I'd say market rents are six ninety nine on all these, wouldn't I? No. It's not six fifty. I don't know why this one particular tenant is paying more than they should. But a reasonable expectation is six fifty for each of these units. Sometimes some landlords will end up with the tenant paying more, but it's a one-off. Maybe that tenant's got pets and they're paying pet fees. Maybe that tenant couldn't rent anywhere else and they uh, have like below uh, standards like background reports, right? Like this, they're when a landlord does their screening, right? These people are below their criteria. And this guy took a flyer on them. And to take a flyer on them, he charged them more rent. The moral of the story is when you buy a rental property. You ain't buying the tenants. You're buying the tenant base. You need to focus on what the property is going to do for the long term, right? These individual tenants, while it's great that they're all paying us money right now, they are fairly irrelevant to the long-term performance of your property because 25 years from now, ain't none of these people going to be there, right? But what's still going to be there is the tenant base. And what we're looking at with Bedford, solid neighborhood, man. It's like splitting hairs between a high C and a low B. Love this neighborhood. Love the property. Love the layout. Love the quads. Love the financing. 205 minimum is what you need to offer. And we got to do it quick because this thing's going to fly. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.